project uh, I'm here to just show you how to set up path for Java or executing Java file in your computer okay so at first you have to install the software um, the JDK and then um, for here I will just show you a small example I've just written a program in Java a small code and uh, it's called add it means class name is also add okay so I will just try to run in my OS uh, after installing the JDK let's see what happens we just open the CMD uh, in the run we just write command prompt into CMD and hit enter and in the command prompt I'll just go into my directory where I've uh, the Java file so in the C directory in this folder I have my file so I just go into it and I just compile it Java C is a compiler Java C space the uh, name of my file dot Java so I just hit enter Whoa! It's C. It's written Java C is not recognized as an internal like external command. So, so we can't run actually without setting up a path. So what exactly happens? Actually, it um, it actually helps. I mean, setting up a path helps the OS to execute the executable um, files like .bat, .bad, .exe, uh, blah blah blah. Anyways, so I just go into it later on. So I just minimize it. So first, at first you have to see where I've installed the JDK. Uh, in my case, I'm installing the uh, system directory that is C. And um, so I have to, I have to go to the program files, and um, below it I have Java. It's not here. It's not here. So in this program files, I have two program files actually. So I'm sorry for that. So you have to click on Java and see here it's JDK 1.7.0. Um, so there's a version of the JDK and you just have to click in here. You don't go to JRE to the Java runtime environment. You have to go to Java Development Kit and you enter it. You just yeah you know, in a lot of folders there is a bin folder at the top of it. You just enter the bin folder and and now is a hitch of the story. So you have to copy all these things just click on it you have to copy the um, thing copy and it will be needed right now I will show you in the my computer now we have, will show you how to set up the path in the properties let's go to the properties in this uh, left panel of the control panel home the leftmost column yeah, in the bottom of it is advanced system settings so you just hit enter and in this advanced tab at the bottom of it you will see another tab called environment variables so you just hit enter and here is the thing you have to um, edit the path in the system variables and uh, there's a lot of things you just don't have to worry about that uh, whatever you have to go is yeah uh, you have to go to the path here is a path so I found a path and I have to just edit it okay so whatever is in here don't just touch it if you touch it the computer or the system may not work I'm not telling that it will it won't work but it may not okay so these are um, system variable path so in here you just the, the cursor is blinking you have to give a uh, mm, if you give a semicolon and wherever you just um, copied there you just paste it okay means I have copied this C program files Java JDK means a path of the bin folder I just copied the whole of it and here after writing a semicolon I just paste it in here and click on OK now in here also you have to click OK OK cancel clear the screen and let's see what happens now okay my uh, CMD is already here so I just try another more time Java C space add dot Java hit enter 
for it's not working anyways I'm just um, opening it one more CMD yeah and okay at dot level let me compile yup it's working it's compiled let me run it java space at is a syntax for running wow the result is 13 okay so this is a tutorial on how to set up a path for java okay um, i hope it helps to you and if it works and um, give a like in this video thanks a lot